Hey guys, Ron Ortiz II here. Thank you so much for watching our film. This film is about myself, my wife Yulia, and our band touring the world, navigating all the ups and downs of life, and doing all that with five children. Triumphs, joy, amazing moments in our life, and some of the roughest things we've ever gone through. Hopefully it can inspire you to find your purpose and not give up on life. Love you guys. Most everything that I learned from problem solving to approaching music to expressing myself through the arts all came from my dad. Amongst many other things, my dad was a pianist, composer. To say he had an impact on me is a massive understatement. Hey world, how y'all doing? I'm Ron Ortiz, father of 11 children. My wife is Victoria. These are five of my boys. We're gonna play some music for you today. Ron wrote a wonderful song that we're gonna share with you. Nothing happens to you. Everything happens for you. Hope you enjoy. Aloha. He would always ask me, why you? Why do you have talent? What's your reason? It really shook me because to, to have something that I'd love so dearly and have to think about, why do I do this? I had never given thought to that. Why did the journey begin? Not how did you start, not where you're gonna go, not where do you hope to go, but why? My reason for playing music at that time was simply because I loved it. I love playing music with friends, with my dad, and just having a good time. My dad would always say that's not enough. You've got to know what your core reason is to why you're doing this. Because you're only going to go as far as your reason will take you. I had to think about it for days, weeks, months even, and I would come and go and I didn't have an answer. One day I really prayed on it and the answer seemed to come so clearly. By Isaiah 61, the Spirit of the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, to give freedom to those who are bound and beauty to those who have nothing but ashes to give you in return. That really struck me because that's something that I really valued in life, an opportunity to help someone through something or help someone feel worthy. So I shared that with my dad, and uh, he said, never forget it. Not too many years after that, my dad passed away. I went through a lot of changes, and um, that reason stuck with me. day when I'm practicing, when I'm writing, when I'm working. And I didn't see how it's supposed to be a choice between two things you love, family and music. My wife and I said, man, we didn't make all these sacrifices to come together to grow our lives apart. In the very beginning, when we first started traveling, the funding was mainly enough for having him go, not me. And in some kind of really admirable way, he always figured out how we could go together as a couple. 
it continued from there. We started having one baby and we brought her along and then we had two babies, we brought them along. The few times where we made the compromise to not go together, to be very efficient, something was definitely missing for both of us. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. It just brings a tear to my eye to be able to say, like, man, I get to share all those moments with Yulia, with the kids. It could have been a complete different reality if I had just given in to what's traditional in the music business. There were a lot of suggestions of his career could be faster and bigger if we would make the sacrifice of leaving that at the side sometime. We heard everything about why Jazz World isn't for kids, why the touring life just doesn't add up. And we said thank you very much, but that's what we're doing. If the only thing in between is getting him a flight ticket and getting him out there with us, let's do it. Of course, that's how easy I thought it was going to be in the beginning. <laughs> Oftentimes, venues, we showed up with two kids and people said, nah, sure. you won't be in here. Thankfully, we started early enough for us to be able to grow with this over time, understand the dynamics of traveling as a family and what that takes. On the long, tiring nights of carrying two car seats through an airport, exhausted, getting on a plane, <laughs> I definitely wouldn't trade that. It's a struggle that's worth it. Welcome aboard Flight 264. We will be in the air approximately five hours and 24 minutes. There, uh, we also rode airplanes. <laughs> weather's clear and we make a decision and we know where we should go and we start on that journey. When it starts to get foggy or stormy, we start to reevaluate 
if we're going the right direction or if it's going to be all right. I found peace Looking into your eyes I found love I love challenges but sometimes I'm just tired man you get setbacks you get people who disagree with you people who just don't like you you get people who love you but just don't understand you it's sometimes really confusing to try to piece it all together check under the stroller please check under the stroller please where I told Ron, I feel like this whole last year of unexpected happenings came down on me and in that moment I hit a breaking point. And it's so over. I know you came back from the grave. We have two more children from what I was used to handling. So when we started this tour, I was quite intimidate, intimidated, taking out in that, at that part four crew members, including the whole family, I kept battling with myself thinking maybe I should just stay home and just let Ron handle it all and you know pretend it doesn't exist maybe. <laughs> Every time I've reevaluated in the middle of the storm, I've created bigger problems. I say in those moments, man, just keep walking. Just keep taking one more step. When you're in the middle of the storm, is not the time to reevaluate. It's the time to persevere. Hundred percent of the time for us in our life, me and my wife, when we've done that, everything's worked out. What's next? DC, then Philly, then Asbury Park, then uh, North Carolina. Let's do this. When we're tired, when we're down, that's when it matters if you have it or not. That's when it matters if you have a purpose. Because that's what's going to get you up and keep going because you're going to say these actions are worth it. This project is worth it. Those people are worth it. I think every time I had doubts if we should be here, but then this one person saying, man, that I heard your daughter sing tonight meant so much to me. It, the melting of people together versus being on their own really fuels me up. And I knew we can keep doing this, we can keep going. You know, sometimes someone will walk up at the end of a concert and tell us that they really needed to hear the message that we were sharing that day. Man, that's the greatest compliment we can ever get. It's more important than winning any award, getting any sum of money or anything. It's just getting the feeling that maybe you make a little difference in this world.
Who was around? We had a dollar to our name. We didn't care much for the fortune or the fame. We were just deep in love. We knew the good Lord get us through. Now there's heaps of folks telling us how to live. Did they walk our shoes? Do the things we did? I don't believe them for a second when they say they understand the way we live. I can't be what this world wants of me. Won't let go of my Christianity. Won't change who I am or hate on anyone for none. And I've got friends from all different walks of life. We're all struggling to be a little light, giving everything we have. To the ones we see in need, as we all live, we all die. But it hurts if we don't try, just to be a little light in the world.